at Arctic Cooling. So, yes. what can you show us new? Okay, um, I'm going to show you. Well, we have this Acceleral Twin Turbo Pro, All right. which is an advanced version of our Acceleral <laughs> Twin Turbo. All right. And uh, the difference between the two is um, the fan. You can notice the fan size. Right. Well, this one is only an 80 millimeter fan, and this one is 90, uh, 92. Okay. Yeah, and the cooling performance is better. And as the twin turbo, this one is multi compatible as well, which fits um, both uh, MB and ATI cards, from mid range to even uh, very high end ones. Like Do you have any cooling solutions for the single PCB 295 cards, the dual GPU Two, cards? Okay. No, I mean for the uh, single PCB 295, which has two GPUs on it, the new NVIDIA video card. Yes. You know, before they had always two PCB, and now they have one, so you can install aftermarket heat sinks easier. You don't, but you're working on one, right? Yes. yes. So, what's it going to be like? More or less like those, or? Uh, yeah, more or less, because we. Uh, this is our Accelero Extreme range, so, right? And, um, it will be the. Quite similar the to this, I suppose, yeah, right? That, that will be the direction that we go. All right. Yeah. yeah, a little bit bigger, but much better performance. Actually, they cool the um, the VJ card by what, 50 degrees, which gives a very very extreme, you know, cooling cooling performance to your card, and it also extends the card service life as well. All right. Yeah, and you could well, there is a demo over there which you can see afterwards, and I can show you how how great this series is. And then for this one. This is more for mid-range to okay. um, some more normal cards and uh, if you have your your VJ card which is quite old and you don't want to change it and you you just want to have a cooler replacement then this is a perfect choice. Okay. And it's also multi-compatible as well. You can see the um, we have different mounting okay. holes and uh, it fits both MB and ATI cards too. You should add a copper plate on the bottom. It will yes, improve yes, the yes. performance a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, well, our VJ cars had MX2, our thermal compounds, which um, actually um, gives a cool down like one to two degrees at least. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Which and our customers love. And this is. And this is just to show the um, to show you the um, passive cooling. All right. We have uh, our Acelero S1 for passive cooling. Yes. And uh, here we use two GTS 250 and. You see, with just passive cooling and our and our Silentium T2 PC case, it gives very very good airflow and very well, basically silent cooling for your cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here we overclock as well. So is it possible to buy this entire case? It's from Arctic Cooling, or? Well, this is our case, of course. Okay. But then you you need to do it. You know, with our CPU cooler and the VJ cooler, there is no one big thing. Uh, and you're blowing the air from here to yes. there. Yes. Okay. Actually, we throw air also also with the PSU as well. That gives airflow to to the um, passive cooler. Yeah. And therefore, it gives you a, a silent cooling solution rather than you use, you know, maybe a, a three fan solution. That's a well, of course, for, for the GTX 2XT, you need something stronger, but for some mid-range high-end, like the, the GTS 2, 250 or the 98, uh, 98,000, 9800.